it's December and it's time for Christmas. We are almost close to an end of what has been an amazing 2017 for most of us. Hey guys, this is Carlton and let's take a look at 8 of my favorite apps of this month of December which will definitely help you move forward into the new year. So without wasting much time, let's get started. We kick things off with one of my favorite apps of this month. This app is called Files Go. And yes, this is another awesome app by Google. This app has a clean UI, is ad free and it displays your junk media in the form of stacked cards. It automatically detects and categorizes media files like large files, duplicate files, WhatsApp media which you can then select and delete from. Another neat feature would be that it allows you to send files instantly to nearby devices. So overall this is a must have app on your phone to those who quickly run short of storage space. So before switching to Photoshop, all my thumbnails for YouTube were created using Canva, which is a free online image editor. And now since the app is launched, it will be much easier to create thumbnails for YouTube, cover pictures for Facebook, Instagram posts, and a lot other formats to choose from. It has a lot of templates to choose from and also many stock images, some of which are free while others are paid. All your projects which are created online are saved to your profile so you can edit them on the go. This is another very useful app for all you creators out there and it helps you to identify the specific font or a similar font which you really like and you do not know where to start searching from. So the process is quite simple in which you have to click the picture of the text or select a picture from your gallery which you have clicked before and the app automatically highlights the text and searches for the most suitable and similar looking fonts online, thus saving a hell lot of time. It's almost the end of the year and with Christmas coming soon, you must have already bought gifts for your friends or family. But if you have plans on buying one soon and find it difficult to choose a specific gift, maybe you could give this app a try. This app called Puff and Pow Gift allows you to narrow down into a specific gift by selecting the most preferable categories that your friend would like and then finally narrowing it down to the final items in the specific category. If you find it difficult to wake up early in the morning even after setting up numerous alarms, well it's time to wake up early and get some work done. Early bird alarm is an app which doesn't only set alarms but it also allows you to make it difficult to turn them off. You can set the alarm to go off only after you perform specific tasks like solve a math problem, scan a QR code, shake the phone a certain number of times and also copy and type under a limited time after which the alarm goes off. A sequence of tasks can be set in order to make it difficult to turn it off. This app is called Pixie Wall and is one of the best wallpaper apps I've used so far. It has a neat UI and OnePlus inspired wallpapers which look pretty clean and minimalistic. So do give this app a try. Fonty is an app which allows you to create your very own custom font. So you need to input every letter in the uppercase and lowercase including numbers, special characters and symbols so as to get a complete newly created personalized font. After the tedious process of entering every character, the app then converts the data into a TTF file which then can be used on other devices as well. For the last app on the list, we have a very useful app called Newpipe. And this app isn't on the Play Store, so follow the link in the description below. Newpipe is a YouTube client which allows you not only to download YouTube videos but also play videos in the background just like your normal music player which the normal YouTube app doesn't allow you to do. It also allows you to download audio and video separately in the desired destination folder. I know I haven't been uploading quite frequently and I'll try my best to upload a video every week. So, so that's it for today and if you like this video 
you know what to do leave a like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time i upload a new video and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter for video updates so that's it for today and i'll catch you guys in my next video until then be safe take care